What's going on guys, it's Pocket Online here, and uh, today I'm running an Easter Bunny, which is pretty funny. But uh, this is the Animal Bikes mod made by Knobs, and it's a pretty cool mod, and adds a ton of bikes. And by bikes, I mean just vehicles that you can ride around in Minecraft. And there's pretty much a bike for each mob in Minecraft, and there's some special mobs like the bunny over there. There's even like an Ender Dragon Chinese firework. It's, it's pretty cool, and uh, it's definitely worth the shot take out. So let's go and get started with the crafting recipes, and we'll check out all the bikes. So this mod super simple for crafting recipes. The the first thing you need is some leather, and you can get to get leather by killing cows, or you can uh, go and uh, smell rotten flesh. That's pretty cool. I really like it when a mod takes an item that's use useless, kind of like rotten flesh. I mean, all you can do with it is feed your uh, wolves. But uh, now you can make put it there, and you can make leather. And once you have leather, you put nine leather together, and you get raw hide. So this recipe isn't all that simple, and that. Bunny just exploded. Okay, and you're also gonna need the raw hide, take some string, some iron ingot, and voila, you get your saddle. And now with the saddle, you can go make these bikes. And as you guys can see, each chest in here represents a different animal bike. So you guys can see that there are a lot of animal bikes. So we're gonna be going over each one, their characteristics, and uh, we'll see what's up. So the first bike we're looking at is the Ender Dragon bike. And to craft it, all you need is some end stone surrounded by a saddle. And it's only fitting that you have end stone because this is an Ender Dragon. And you get your Ender Dragon bike, and that's what the bike looks like right there. As you guys can see, I'm gonna go fly over here, and may I say this is a beautiful seat right here, as you guys can see, it's pretty awesome. But, uh, we put our bike down, and voila, here's an Ender Dragon, I right click it, and I can fly it. And you can fly it just like you would, and if you take a flint and steel, so I'm just gonna be one right there. I can even, uh, breathe the fire, so you right click with your flint and steel, and look at that, you're breathing fire. Pretty cool, so if I go like that, just like that. So you, so you fly... It's like you would with your WASD keys, you hit space to go up, you hit your crouch button to go down, so jump is to go up, crouch is to go down, and what, there you go. So it's pretty cool, I'm pretty sure you can even destroy terrain, let's see this. No, you cannot destroy terrain. Oh right, you can actually configure this, so there's actually a config file generated by this, and you can even set if you want to be, uh, be able to burn terrain, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome, it's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome, it's just really fast as you guys can see, perfect flying around, and I even like the animation, this is a really good animation, and the ender dragon's not even that big, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, and he also spawns in a bunch of different colors, it's pretty cool as well, so let's get off this guy and check out the next bike. So the next bike we're looking at is the Chinese dragon bike, and it's only fitting that you use fireworks to craft it, so there is the bike right there, uh, you take a saddle, and put a bunch of fire the fireworks don't matter, it can be any type of fireworks. And you get your Chinese dragon bike, and he's kind of like the Ender Dragon, so you spawn him in, and voila, well, it's pretty cool. You fly just like the Ender Dragon, you use the exact same way. He even spawns in four different colors. Uh, right now, the one I'm writing is black, but there's like red and stuff too. And he's pretty long as well, but it's pretty cool. And so you just fly around, and if you have gunpowder, so you will get some more now. And you right click with it, you'll even shoot fireworks. That's pretty fitting. You just put some gunpowder, and there you go fireworks galore. So I'm gonna park my bike right here and uh, let's get to the next one. So the next bike is the iron golem bike and the recipe is a bit weird for it. So it has four iron blocks, vines, and rows and uh, that's kind of a weird recipe but it, uh, it makes sense because it's iron golem and he's like, covered in vines and then I guess he has a rose somewhere as well. I'm not really sure where the rose is but there you go. You right click it and there they go. Here he is and he is spawned in and he can be dyed with different colors if I get some dye right here. Now, uh, let's get pink. And there you go, now he is a pink iron gold. So that's pretty funny and cute. And, uh, you can walk around with it. If you hit space, you can put his arm up, and you can actually hit enemies with it. Attack them. Pretty cool. He'll automatically, like, walk up blocks, so if you go, like, up here, you'll see that he's walking up. And he does a lot of damage, and he also has 140 health, which is a, t which is a good amount of health right there. So let's put that guy down. So the next bike we're looking at is the reindeer bike and to that you just need some spruce saplings it has to be spruce and you get a saddle and there is the reindeer bike and it's like a wreath right now with the size of it but uh you right click it and there you go there's the reindeer and uh he can fly he's kind of moved off the red nose reindeer because he has that red nose and oh this one is not a red nose oh that's disappointing but uh, i'm pretty sure some of them can have red noses you can fly around pretty simple as that oh and their nose can actually be dyed so if i get some dye and i'll get red oh red rose Rose is red, let's get that, and then right click him, and there you go, now his nose is red, and now you have a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, and Mr. Rudolph, you can go talk to Mr. Iron Golem, and talk about your how it feels to get died, different colors, oh, I guess they don't like each other, well, uh, that's not good, 
Now, the snow golem bike, oh, and I spawned in it, well, they can be crafted by snow blocks, and it looks really weird, as you guys can see. And that's on the film, but it just looks really weird, the position right there. If, oh, and this, yeah, I don't like it, <laughs> the position. But as you guys can see, it's space to do snowballs, you walk around, it'll leave a trail of snow and uh, mess things up and make everything look bad. But there that is, guys, and you can even spawn in different colors, it's pretty cool. But yeah, if you had space, uh, you will just fire snowballs, and I guess you can go around. I guess this would be really useful in the nether, because you can actually use snowballs to fight blazes, which is kind of cool. So the next bike is the Notch bike, and yes guys, in this mod, you can ride Notch, and to craft it, you're gonna need some golden apples, and these aren't like, uh, the super golden apples, like if you go here, so there's two types of golden apples, it's these, this golden apple, the cheaper one, the one that's made by golden nuggets, and you surround that by saddle, and you may ask, why golden apples? Well, if you kill Notch, the rumor is you get golden apples, so there you go, that's why you gotta have golden apples to craft a Notch bike, and you spawn it in like that, and when you kill him, uh, he'll actually drop apples, and it's pretty cool because it just it's just a notch head and you just, you just ride it around in a notch head and you allow to make you walk it up and he even try to eat you so that's kind of weird I don't need space to just get off so that's it that's about it and then you gotta be careful and he's trying to eat me right now and then not oh no notch not ah notch come on notch notch not not okay well uh I'm going to go and have to take a diamond sword and kill notch and let's see if he drops little apples actually and uh, notch let's see Oh, I, don't, I think I need golden apples that time. But, yep, that is the notch, notch bike, which is really weird. So, there's also a cow bike, and to craft a cow bike, you need some raw steak like that, and you get a saddle, and voila, that that's is the cow bike. And you can spawn the cow bike in, and if you get a mushroom, which I'll get right now, and you... Oh, I click the cow bike, so let's spawn the cow bike in. Oh, that's notch bike, no, no, notch, no. Okay, let's go kill notch. Notch. I don't like notch. You're, you're, you're in me. Okay. So there's a cow bike, and he's a bit of a weird cow bike. If I click it, bam, you know, he's a mushroom cow. Then he can jump two blocks high, so I'm not really sure why, but he can jump extra high. And he has like a 20% chance of spawning a baby cow, which is pretty cool. And uh, he can be dyed in different colors. But he's a pretty simple bike as, him, as it is right there. And look how happy he is looking at me jumping around. Yep. And the next bike we're going over is the Enderman bike. And to grab that, simple recipe, Ender Pearls, saddle, and there you go, you got your Ender bike. Now, if you take your Ender bike and you right click it on the ground, and there you go, it looks really weird, it's a different formation. Uh, super weird, but if you hit space, you can teleport. And I just teleported, so I guess there's a little bit of a cooldown there. Yeah, Mackie walks. Oh, and you don't want to go in water because he will get hurt. And he will go in water right now and see. Show that off to you guys, and I think he might die there. Yeah, and there you go. And as you guys can see, he will get hurt in the water. But he does teleport, which is pretty cool. So let's go up here. Let's see if we can teleport all the way back up. And no, I can't really look up there. But yeah, he can teleport. Enderman bike. Really weird posture of his with his like back like that. That just looks really weird. I'll never see that ever in the same way again. Okay, so the next bike is the pig's bike, and that a lot like the uh what uh the enderman bike and the cow bike you just use the the item that it drops which is raw pork chop and you get yourself a pig bike and there's the pig bike right there and i just took it back but here you go he's pretty cool he's really fast as you guys can see he can be dyed as well and he has a 20 percent chance of spawning a baby cow pretty cool and this die looks really weird not gonna lie let's pick him back up and let's put him over here and get to the next mob so the next bike is the sheep bike, so to craft it, you just need to moon that, and there you go, there is the sheep right there. I'm sure he can be dyed different colors as well, but he's just a sheep, you can ride around. Nothing that special, but he's pretty cool, pretty nice, and you can even disguise yourself as a sheep and uh, talk to other sheep, pretty cool. The next bike is the spider bike, and the spider bike is created just with spider webs, as you guys would think. You spawn it in, and there you go. Now what's cool about the spider is that he can actually climb walls. If we destroy all this, and that, and that, and that, and that, all these leaves. Let's see, destroy those, and we can actually climb the walls, and there you go. So this is great for those who want to go climb mountains and stuff, and get up walls really easily. So pretty cool in itself, and uh, there's a spider bike, and he likes to move around. He's not really anything faster, he's actually slightly slower than the other mobs, but he also can be died as well, just like all the other mobs. So we have the chicken bike now, and the chicken bike can actually fly on, so we spawn that in. There you go, and we can actually fly kind of, I'm not really fly, but you guys can see I can kind of float. So it's nothing really that full, it's not really flying, but it's still floating, which is pretty cool. 
He is, his craft recipe is pretty simple as well. Let's go back and check that out. But he's a little floating machine. And uh, there. Oh, that's a squid. And there you go. So just a bunch of raw chicken. And there is your chicken mic. And as always, he can be dyed as well. And here is the squid bike. And the squid bike's pretty cool because that is the water bike, if you might say, say it myself. So if we go over here. And he's really slow on land, but if you go in water, he's like really, really fast. There's the Chinese dragon right there for this floating around. And look at this seed, man. Oh my god, it's lava there. This is just great. Well, yep, there you go. You fly floating around as a squid. And he's really fast in water. So that is that. And look at his enderman right And your bike. I just gotta get over that. That's hilarious. Look at his posture. He just looks so weird. Ooh. Looks like, uh. Looks like, uh. I don't know. Just does not look weird. This looks so weird. Okay. So the next bike is the wolf bike, and here it is. You make some cooked pork chop, cooked steak, some bone. And there you go. It's probably, probably a weird recipe right there. But there you go. He can be dyed as well. And yeah, he attacks anything that attacks you. So if I attack this golem, that and he's not going to attack back. But basically, if, if I would have, see like a zombie or something, and then it attacks me, my wolf would attack them, and it's hostile with the thing. And it also randomly attacks nearby sheep. That's kind of cool. So let's spawn a sheep in. And there you go. It just attacked that sheep right there. If you have a bone, if, and if you don't want it to attack anything, you can have a bone in your hand, and then it won't attack anything at all. So we have a couple of bikes next. So the first of all is gear bike, and to craft that, you get some TNT a saddle, and there he is right there, and you can ride it, and he will actually explode, I believe. So let's go over here. So the creeper bike right here, and we had an electric creeper one this time, uh, will actually explode when he's damaged or injured or killed. So if you kill him right now. He should explode. Oh, didn't explode that, so I'm not sure why. Well, yeah, but he basically explodes when he gets damaged or killed. It's pretty cool. And he can also be dyed in different colors. And sometimes he spawns the Electro Keeper, which does extra, extra, extra damage. Also, guys, for all you bronies out there, we got a pony bike. He makes some damage. And what I hear my pony right now. And some of them can even fly. Pegasus ponies and stuff. It's all different colors. The pony system is way too elantric. It's just there's so many ponies. It's crazy. You guys got to go join... And check out all the ponies for yourself. If you're a brony, definitely, definitely gotta check out this mod. Because of all the ponies. Like, look at that. Look at all the ponies. Uh, I don't believe this one can fly, yep. So not all of them can fly. Uh, no, that's pretty cool. And look at that, even the reindeer are getting along with all the bronies. How awesome is that? Oh, uh, we also have the gas bike. Mm, the gas bike cannot be summoned in the regular world. But it just flies around like a gas, what you think. And it's, and it's crafted with uh, gas gears. That's pretty awesome. We also have our dino bike, and our dino bike is really weird because you're gonna need fossils. You craft fossils, you need some bone and some coal, and you curse around your uh, little thing with fossils, your your saddle, and then you get the dino bike, which is like a dinosaur. You can go right around, he's pretty cool. To eat space, nothing really happens with him, but he's just a dino bike, this dinosaur walking around right there, and I'm pretty sure there's different types of dinosaurs as well, so if I go get off this and spawn a bunch. Yeah, you guys can see that there's a bunch of dinosaurs and some that can even fly. That's pretty cool. And it's so fun. Uh, man, this mod adds everything, even dinosaurs. That's pretty cool. Uh, here is our bunny bike. As you guys saw earlier, uh, it's just some eggs and you take that. It's kind of like the Easter Bunny. He comes in different colors. And he'll when you move around, he'll even drop eggs, which is pretty cool. And he's pretty huge. And he's to be honest, he's kind of scary in my opinion. Uh, if you look at him, look how huge he is. That's, that's pretty big. I mean, bunnies are so small. I don't like it when small things are big, because then it's just scary. Very, very scary. Uh, this is our Chocobo bike, golden carrots in her saddle. That's how you craft it. And I'm not really entirely sure what this guy is, but uh, he's just like an ostrich. Walking around. Pretty cool. Can't really fly or anything, but he's still, he's worth it. He's a Chocobo bike. Now, if you go over here, we have our Silverfish bike, and that is just some stone. And voila, some fish come in different colors, you know, kind of really small. Different kind of cool kind of things. He'll even roam around by himself if you let him go. And our last one is the bat bike. And to craft that, you actually need night vision go uh, potions. So that's really weird. But if you right click him, you have night vision as you fly around. Pretty cool. And uh, everything looks like it's daylight right now. But yeah, he's a pretty cool. He can fly, but he's super slow, as you guys can see. And it looks really weird flying on him, too, because look how small he is. Look how big I am. But uh, that is the uh, bikes mod, guys. 
for, for Minecraft. I am gonna go spawn some pony bikes because pony bikes are the best. And look how happy the ponies are. So yeah, the bikes mod adds a ton of stuff. Also, the mod creator keeps updating, which is pretty awesome. I love it when mod creators support their mods properly. So there you go, guys. Down link in the description below. Really worth it. Look how many bikes they add. Definitely worth trying out. And it even works for servers and mod loader or forge. So that's a reason to try them out itself and try it with friends. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, smack that like button. And I will check you guys all out later.